All right, so my name is Kadro Greg, and I want to bring some quality content. Um, <laughs> I say quality, but then at the same time, I'm bringing you this for my first product. But we all got to start somewhere. So this is going to be my first video on this channel, and I am not going to edit it at all because I want to see how I look now compared to how I look later on down the road if I want to do a recap video and uh, everything like that. So pretty much the idea and premises of this channel is pretty much just casual gaming strats with um, Blaze of Battle and Overwatch. Those are the two main games I focus on playing right now. And uh, maybe down the road when I keep growing or you know changing in my gaming qualities, I will uh, bring some more content and different games to this channel. So, as you can see, we have a uh, pretty little base right here. This is a, a Max CC26. This is from the game Blaze of Battle. So, I have a couple line chats that I'm in, and one of the line chats requested that I make a video to show them how to uh, script in this game. Um, so, pretty much. What we all going to start with is Nox. This is the Nox emulator. The site that I use to download it is... BigNox.com. I will try to put a link in the description down below so you know how to uh, get it. So, after you go ahead and download Nox, it will bring you to pretty much like a mobile... Nox is a emulator, and for those that don't know, my bad, I forgot to say that earlier. And the reason why this video is going to be kind of jumping all over the place is because later on I'll bring more content that will show you how to download Nox, how to start it up, what you need to do for everything. But this video right here is just going to be showing how to start a script. And one of the scripts that I use, the most common script actually, is going to be this one right here. So the first thing we got to do is click the macro recorder. So that's going to be this button right here. You can also get to it with control 9 as you can see. So go ahead and click the macro recorder. Let's give it some time to upload. All right, now that we have this up, unfortunately you can't see this. I don't know why. Oops. Like I said, I'm not editing nothing. I am sorry for this, but bear with me. All right. So for some reason you can't. Oh, there it is. Boom. All right. So on the right side you can capture the screen. On the left side, it's just gonna be Nox, I guess. So now you can see both sides. All right. So as you can see, I already have some quests going here. Um, I'm sorry, some scripts going here. Again, not editing nothing. <laughs> so we can get right on started with this. So the first screen I actually want to get to, though, is my city area. Oh, someone's burning. Don't know who that is. Sorry. Somebody's in the fortress. All right. So I'm just going to use a random account to just dump this one into. Let's see. All right. So as you can see back here, though, Right here we have an original 7.2 million, but we're going to go ahead and put the right gear on. This is going to be our construction gear. This is what provides us boost into the wood production. So now we're at 9.2 million. So there's two ways to do transports with Knox. The one that I love to use the most is going to the members tab and scrolling down to whoever I want to dump it to and then just making a script like this. Um, I'll actually make this one really quick just um, so we can get started on some content. So the macro recorder is right here. So you go to your alliance tab. The reason why we go to the alliance tab and the members is because we don't want clicking on random city members and then accidentally clicking the wrong one when a transport comes through over your uh, city baseline. It happens more than you can think. 
Um, but the reason why we have to use a city transport line sometimes is because different members in the alliance that you're trying to donate to are not like um, ministers or VC. So this is for people who are just wanting to donate right now. This is how we're going to do it. You click the macro recorder. Click to start the record. Click here. Click the person you want to transport to. You click transport. First thing I always do is slide down. And I always do it like two or three times just in case it doesn't register. Boom. And then we're just going to go to wood. I like to click mine right in the middle. Uh, reason being is when you start clicking it too far to the right, it starts to say that you did not select any resources if you do it too frequently. So to save time, I just go ahead and click it in the middle because eventually it's going to keep donating. And we click transport and we stop it. And boom, now we re successfully recorded a macro and we're going to name it something. So this would be like the Scooby Stone Donation, just regular, just random stuff. I always click this, I always go to the acceleration and I lower it to 0 0.9. 0 0.9 just slows it down a little bit just so we don't have clipping getting involved in it. Interval, you can change any intervals you want. So normally I like to <sighs> donate every 360 seconds. That's six minutes. You can do it however you want to do it. But for this scenario, we're going to do one second so I can show you guys multiple transports with it. So you can loop it as well. We'll get into looping later on. But this is loop until stop button is pressed. We're going to do this one for now. Click save. And play move it out the way and we are good to go you're going to see that I click scooby doo it's then going to click transport it's then going to click wood and because i was talking to you guys for so long i apologize it's going to take a little bit longer to transport it i'm not editing nothing i am sorry bear with me usually i guess right now is when you skip forward to like edit right and will be 15 seconds ahead of this moment. Well, I mean, I got some scripts going on back there. That's, that's cool. All right, there, boom. It has now transported. Now we're gonna give it one more second and it's transporting again. The script is now successfully ran. So I like to watch it about, like, you know, two or three times, just make sure that everything's going smoothly. And when I found out that it is, I leave my computer. But we're not leaving right now. We have some more scripting to get to. All right. So that's just your basic transport with the uh, members, Alliance members tab open. I usually like to do that one with uh, farms that have food and ones that are pretty new farms because they're not going to have questing to do or anything like that. Uh oh, segue questing. So the Alliance store. I truly, truly, truly feel the Alliance store should only have quests in it. That's it. Everything else, get rid of it. Get don't don't buy it. Don't waste your time. Reason being, when you go to your history tab, you can see who's doing the quest. So all these guys are doing a quest right here. Wow, these ones. They're probably buying like resource tabs. Advanced teleports. Who knows what they're buying? I don't know. Let's, well, we can find out right here, right? Advanced teleports. Resource. This is why you don't buy all that, you know, resource tokens. The reason why you don't buy resource tokens, let's check it out. <sighs> resource tokens cost way too much. Yeah, 400,000. Okay, I mean, it sounds really good, right? Yeah, 400,000 for 1.8 million. But when we go check this out right here, 400,000 compared to 100,000. So this is four Alliance Quest. These four Alliance Quests could sometimes have the chance to proc a Supreme Quest. So that will give us extra stats. And we're going to go ahead and buy. Hold on, I got to check the dailies that he has yeah we're gonna go ahead and buy them all all 
All right. So remember when that guy bought that resource token for 400,000? It's on here for a daily quest, which by the way, the daily quests are 50,000. Uh, I would only suggest buying a daily quest when you have over 5,000 alliance quests. Uh, that way you can keep rinsing and repeating them. So that resource token that he bought for 50,000, you could have done some quests and got 1.1 million off of one. So when we go ahead and complete collect all, this is like I said, this is 50,000 alliance store points, right? Let's see what we get. When you add up all these resources, it equals over 1.6 million. Okay? Or it's about 1. Point, looks like 1.3, 1.4. Not only does you do you get that, you also get lower XP. You get crystals, you get mats, you know, everything else. So do not waste your money or alliance store credit on anything but questing. All right. Now, the reason why I say to do the Alliance Quest is Alliance Questing allows you to have more return of investment, okay? ROI, return of investment. I bought these Alliance Quests for 100000 each, right? Well, when you scroll down, you can see that Alliance Fund, I pretty much just made it back 43% of what I invested in it. It's the only thing in this game that you can actually buy and get back in this game from uh, Alliance Store Points. All right, now that we already got the little tip out the way, we're gonna go ahead and do the full macro that I like to do, or the full, yeah, the full macro that I like to do that incorporates everything. Um, it does the Alliance Gifts, it does the questing, and it does the resource dump. So we're gonna start a little bit slow. So we're gonna hit the there's two macros I record, and I'll tell you why in a second. All right. So let's go ahead and get started on the first one. Oh, wait. See? No no editing. I made a mistake. So you have chords right here. These chords are very important because it's that the one right next to the X is what you're going to want to line up the base with that you're going to be transporting to. So like I said, we're going to use this stone man, a random account over here. So... I put the little house, hut, whatever you want to call it, base, right above the zero. And then after I do that, I click it. Click it one more time. As you can see now, when, whenever I click, the base does not move. So that's going to stay whenever I go here. Here doesn't matter. But whenever I come back out here, the base is still there. And I don't have to move it. All right. So why that's important? Well, we are going to be donating through the map this is a little bit of a risky strat because let's say someone's transporting or let's say someone's farming right so if scooby sends out you know a transport or a march to a tile it's going to get in the way and for some reason this game loves to put people marching above the uh above anything else and that goes for monsters it goes for uh, dragons flying and everything like that. So the transport will be the highest one on on the map. So let's get started. Go ahead and click the. See, oops, that dragon almost got me. Transport. Scroll up. Remember two, three times. All right, this is a wood base. Go halfway. Transport. All right, that is done. That's going to be, see, oh, <laughs> all right, so this is what I was talking about right here. I, I can show it to you right now. All right, so this is going to be called the Stone Man Wood Only Transport. I like to be very descriptive. That way I know whenever I'm editing more scripts later on, as you cannot see. There you go. I like to be a little bit very descriptive so that way you know I have a lot of scripts on here all right so we're gonna do the second one now that was just a the wood transport now we're gonna go to Alliance and here I like to go a little bit slow you know I like to take a second or two through them click here click 
click in here open 20 40 clear another thing that you can do is let's say you don't have this uh, open up 20 alliance gifts well I do this right here clear expired gifts don't scroll it I like to just click what I see because when you start scrolling you start losing your spot all right so eventually it will do that now questing is the same way I always cl click the quest then a daily tab I click everything that I'm trying to go to even if it's already open there's two ways to do it you can click all these like I said one by one and then go to uh, re refresh but since he has everything unlocked on VIP I click here okay refresh then I click my alliance tab collect all okay refresh daily I always go back to daily then I go back to my city map because this is where I started a script and I click stop now this would be called open alliance gift and double quest so for a double quest this is called C dub open alliance gift and double quest because what did we just do we just did the we just opened up uh, some alliance gifts and then we did quest we did a double quest we did our daily quest and we did alliance quest so it's called double quest so now I'm gonna combine scripts this button right here combine scripts so what I want to do first is I always just want to transport the reason why I like to start with the transport is because that's the number one thing I can get clipped or messed up while you're starting your macro so you go here go to interval and remember what I always said acceleration 0.9 then we're gonna go ahead and add the opening alliance gifts and doing the double quest so you want to look at how many quests you have and remember that the double so you gotta look at the alliance quest and the daily quest also remember that the quest cap is 300 per day so keep that in mind when you're doing your questing and your transports that you only have 300 quests to do so for a double quest I am gonna go ahead and I wanna do it <sighs> let's go ahead and do it we're gonna loop it for for video purposes we're just gonna loop it five times so that way you can see the whole script go through Interval will be one second, and we're gonna go point nine again. All right. All right. So now that we did this, remember label your scripts. The first thing you always do is name your scripts. That way you don't get confused. So now the quest is gonna be called C Dub Gift and. Gift comma five double quest comma and transport. All right. Remember, we only get three hundred of these a day, so three hundred divided by five is sixty. So we're gonna loop this sixty times, one interval. You don't have to slow down the acceleration since we already slowed down the acceleration when we combine the scripts. However, I'm going to just do it again, just because I like to do it twice. It makes me feel good about myself <laughs> all right so now we have the c-dub gift five double quest and we just completed the script now we're gonna go see how it works hit play and we have the donating to stone man our wood transport sadly I was talking in the middle of this so we're gonna have to wait a little bit long for this transport to go through Again, later on, I'll be better at this. Oh, I'm sorry. The last script I made was the long wood one. This one, since I just redid it, is faster. All right. So now we got done with that. So as you can see, I already went to the first script, and now since we combine the script, it's already working on the second script. So just open up the 20 alliance gifts. As you see, those tabs are now grayed out, which means that even though I don't have any alliance gifts, the next time I come back, I might have a gift and it will open it again. 
and now it's going through the single for the ones that don't have the VIP level high enough. All right, now we're going to our questing tab, and like I said, it clicks on the daily quest just in case it's not popped up. And right now, I'm talking to you guys about well, how you can do it. You know, you could have clicked the one by one on the other quest, auto complete, or you can click collect all, collect your rewards, and then refresh. Now it's going to go to the Alliance tab, and we're going to do it all over again. Alright, now remember I said loop it five times. So it's going to go back to the Alliance. It's going to go to that three gifts. And we don't have any gifts. Um... So it's still going to click the tabs, but since we we don't have any uh, gifts, it's not going to clip. So it's just going to move on to the next feature where questing gets enrolled. And that is about it. Uh, I'm sorry for the long video. Like I said, I will get better at this. I will learn how to edit and clip out some of the dead parts and dry parts and try to get the information a little bit tighter. Um, like I said before, this was just a video to show how I do my all-in-one script because a lot of people were asking about it on, on one of my line chats. Uh, one of the next videos will be doing drag attacks on Nox. So subscribe and stay tuned because there will be a lot more of this content. So if you play Blaze of Battle and you have Nox or don't have Nox, this is where you want to be. So you can see, check it out. All right. Thank you.